out here at 6058 Einstein. The first thing you're going to notice is that it is on a flag lot here. So, right there is your neighbors, and then this is your shared driveway. Um, it does have a huge driveway. Uh, um, that's going to be a deal breaker for you, but if you don't mind, then the rest of this home is exceptional. So as you come in, got beautiful agreeable gray colors on the wall, um, nine to 10 foot ceilings. We got the stairs going up right here, and then opens to an office. Got the, the wainscoting around this office, framed out windows. They did a good job uh, with all of the construction details in this home. So walking down the hallway, we come into the kitchen first. Really, really large, oversized kitchen island. Uh, I love the color on this. This is like a, like a gray, gray speckled kitchen island. You've got two tier cabinets. You got the lighted uppers. You know, the stainless steel fridge looks really good in that light. Plenty of outlets underneath there, as you can see. Good sized pantry. Then we're into the dining room. Got the corner fireplace over there with the TV, large TV on the wall. It's very important. Walk out into the backyard here. Kind of get a sense for the space. So it's mainly rock, which is nice because a lot of the time we end up just getting, I mean, this is really, really bad time of year to be looking at the, the backyard because the grass is always dead and everything looks depressing outside in the middle of winter. Beautiful view of the mountains. Uh, it does look like they're going to build some homes there, so I don't know how long that beautiful view will be there for. Um, you'll probably always have the right side of the mountains out there, but those homes obviously are going to get in the way straight in front of us. Fireplace is really well done. Nice hearth here. Again, they, they put this quartz counter or quartz um, stone on top, and that looks really sharp. Really sharp looking fireplace. Really large sectional sofa. You got some good space in here. Walking into the laundry room, uh, linoleum laundry room. You have from Mica countertops here. That's pretty standard. You do have a, a nice, cute little mud bench sitting area here with some extra storage up top. Extra large three car garage goes all the way through. Obviously they have all their stuff in here now. They're getting ready to move hopefully. Um, they've got the, sh uh, the um, central vac system already put in Coltrane. It's a $1,200 system normally. You've got a, this looks like a 30, 30, 40 gallon water heater. I don't think it's quite the 55 and you've got a train HVAC system here. That all looks nice. Let me show the homes only two years old. You've got a half bath here. This is for your guest. The floor is a laminate. It's a, um, it's, it looks like the, like a pergo, uh, dog proof, waterproof, everything proof. So now we're in the master. Master is a good size, very spacious. I do like the bathroom layout a lot and just the way they've done it. Got his and hers vanities on separate sides. You do have the corner tub. I'm not a huge corner or tub person, period. I do love this shower. You've got the, you've got the glass with the, the step up here. I really like this shower um, a lot. You've got the master closet here. Very spacious and open. And then you do have the toilet room with the pocket door. And then we're going to backtrack here and go all the way upstairs. So walking up the stairs now, the carpeting still looks like it's uh, in really good shape. Uh, obviously a little bit of wear spots in high traffic areas. That's to be expected. Um, it feels like we're probably down with a six pound pad under the carpet. 
so it's soft. Um, it's not the thickest carpet I've ever stepped on, but it's definitely not cheap carpet. Spider-Man bedroom here. Again, even in the kids' rooms, we've got framed windows. And the bedrooms are a really, really good size. Every room is wired for Cat 5 already, so you wouldn't need to do that. In this front room right here, this is probably the smallest of the bedrooms. It's got an extra oversized window seat. I think these are super cool for guests or children. Just make a nice feature. This is your upper family room right here, this huge extra bonus room. They've got some, some workout equipment in here, kids' toys. Kind of a view of what's to come right in the heart of all the building here. Upstairs bathroom, laminate countertop, dual vanity if you've got multiple children up here. Uh, they're not fighting over one sink or guests, same thing. Extra large tub right there, insert, that's nice with the window, so it's not the skinny tub. And then, you know, pretty modest, this is exactly what you'd expect. Uh, that's a large toilet, um, and everything else is, I mean, pretty standard in here for a, a guest bathroom. It's not upgraded, but it's it's still in great shape. And then this is the third bedroom upstairs. So this is probably the second largest bedroom, and this is kind of a view out this window. So not a lot is gonna change here ever. They're gonna put, you know, house right there, but you'll still be able to have a view of the mountains from this room for a long time. So I uh, hope you like the house. Let me know what you think. Uh, if we're on the right track, we can keep looking at homes like this. And I will be in touch. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.